Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Loom Mode and today on Hot Loom Mode we are going to be talking about one of the most intriguing, interesting, and mysterious brands to be popping up recently in the year of 2019, which is Fenty. Before we get any further into the video though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way, this is it. So you can go down below, hit the subscribe button, and turn on my post notifications. I mean like what you have to lose, you're already here. Also, if you guys want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at hotlamode. I post some pretty poppin' fashion memes and my Instagram stories are always telling you all the fashion goss. And you guys can also follow me at hotlames on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post more of my personal opinions and some of my personal outfit posts as well. But now let's get back into the video. Now, the Fenty brand is something that has been talked about for quite some time. I've actually done a whole video explaining all of the leakages and assumptions revolving around Rihanna Robin Fenty's brand. So if you guys wanna watch that video, you can watch it here right now. Go ahead, it's a good background information on this whole video. Finally, on today, May 23rd, the actual lookbook for the Fenty line has actually come out. Now we've seen a little bit of a promotional video coming from Rihanna. We've seen that whole amazing tea magazine cover spread and story. And so finally we're getting to see the finished Fenty product. Now there is a pop-up shop on May 24th being held in Paris. So that would be today, the day this video comes out. So if you're in Paris, go see spill the tea, let me know how you're thinking and feeling about it. But the actual Fenty collection will drop on May 29th reportedly online. So you'll be able to actually purchase the luxury products then. Now there has been some complaints about the brand so far. People are upset that it's not actually affordable. Well, here's the thing. It is majority owned by LVMH and then the other half is owned by Rihanna herself. So the thing is, LVMH is a luxury brand. They carry and they own Louis Vuitton, Dior, uh, and a bunch of other brands. I don't, it's just, it's lost on me right now. They don't just sell some Zara H&M ass shit. They actually sell luxury product. They put time into the actual design. They actually hire really creative people. They're working with Rihanna who, you know, her time is expensive and they're using nice fabrics, materials and all of their own manufacturers. So it's not like this is just like some humdrum throw it out there for everybody to enjoy. These are luxury pieces. It's no different than buying something from Celine or something from a Nicola Gasquet Louis Vuitton collection or a Virgil Abloh Louis Vuitton collection. There is a lot of time and effort that goes into these clothes. So it's not just something that you can just pick up randomly at your local supermarket or Walmart, okay? And now let's finally get into looking at the images from the Fenty lookbook. So first up, you have a very, very simple white blazer, which is also doubling as a dress. Now, a big thing that Rihanna talked about is the fact that her clothes need to fit her. Recently, in recent years, she has gone from somebody who was very, very thin to somebody that is a bit thicker. And she really wanted to push the idea that if she couldn't wear it, it wasn't going to be in the collection. And so I think that's actually a really amazing thing because I see a lot of bigger women, women that don't just fit into a size two or zero or four or six on red carpets. And honestly, it often looks like the person that made the dress, the person that styled the look, the people that have anything to do with it don't really know what's going on. And I think that that's because there is a lack of good clothing for women that are not tiny. So I actually really appreciate the sentiment that is going behind these clothes because it really does have a deeper meaning, which is great. This jacket I do find very, very interesting. It really does have like a very wide shoulder and very, very baggy sleeves, not baggy, but wide sleeves that seem very structured. On top of that, I'm very interested by, I don't know what they are. I guess they're like some sort of piping that goes down the front and the two different areas and essentially shows off that the waist is definitely nipped. The buttons are very, very simple. They don't look like they're anything crazy. And the dress is kind of short. On top of that, you have shoes, which I also assume will be sold eventually. They're strappy shoes, they're very, very simple. And then there's the Fenty sunglasses, which we've heard a lot about, and which I heard retail for about 420 from what I've seen. In reality, the look is very, very simple in terms of what we would think for like a fashion brand, like a luxury fashion brand under LVMH. 
But I also think that Rihanna and LVMH are really just testing the water. And so that's why you're getting a lot of very, very simple pieces just to see how well they fare, just to see what's selling, what isn't, what people are really being drawn to and what people are like, me, nee, I'm good. So interesting. The next look, not my favorite, I'll be honest. It's giving me some real Ricardo Tegia Burberry vibes and I can't stand that whatsoever. The hat is a baseball hat, very simple. Rihanna in her, you know, style icon days. Now she's a, now she's a, mogul, I will call her. But in her style icon days, she does love a good baseball cap. She really, she rocked it. I wonder what it's made out of. I would be interested, maybe like a nice leather or like a felt. There's a simple white shirt, which again, I believe is like a shirt dress, very simple. This jacket, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's like a raincoat, but it seems a bit baggy. There doesn't really seem to be anything to it. And also I don't think that the design is like so amazing or so worthwhile or anything. And then on bottom you have another strappy shoe. Obviously the straps on the shoes are very, very different from what we normally see in terms of a strappy shoe. So it's interesting, but again, it's not giving me some like over the top amazing fashion concept idea. I don't think that's the intention, but also I would hope to see at least like one or two really like, oh my God, this is so great looks, you know? Next up is a pink suit, not suit, shirt pant combo. And this is something that I'm very interested in. The shirt is styled so that it's open and it actually looks quite long. I think the pink is like a very nice color. I think that right now in this sort of 2010s era, this tumbler pink is something that people are just very drawn to. So it makes sense to do a sort of cute pastel like this. And then on top of that, I really do like the pants. The thing about these pants are they're pleated in a very interesting way. Essentially, it looks like there's an excess of fabric that sort of laps over. And instead of having like a small little pleat, they are quite large pleats. And I'd like to see how they actually move, what they look like moving. I feel like that's a very important aspect of a pleat you know, the movement. I mean, it's definitely interesting and it definitely looks like it's something that could be an easy, you know, basic wardrobe situation. I think maybe the shirt's a little bit too long, but if you're going for like a shirt dress, which I'm sure this can double as, it probably works out perfectly. Ooh, okay. I don't know what to do with her. So next up is a denim jacket dress. The silhouette is weird. It looks like a big kind of lump of a dress. And I think it's because of the sleeves. It seems like the sleeves are quite baggy on all of these dresses, which I think is very, very interesting. It just seems very round here, but it doesn't seem like a flattering round. I'm interested by the big pockets in the front. Do they actually open? Are they just there for show? And then the way the dress is sort of in this very like straight, silhouette it's quite short and quite straight and i'm interested by it and why they maybe didn't do like an a-line silhouette i mean i don't know exactly but i'm interested to find out why we went for a straight silhouette you know but honestly it's not my fave look the sunglasses look cool very interesting and again we have those same shoes in a black moving on the next look is a very simple white shirt dress there seems to be a lot of dresses which I've noticed. Um, it looks nice, but you know, it's not anything that I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And then we have the similar shoes. I think Rihanna, from what I've seen and what she's talked about, was going for a very corporate business sort of attitude where a woman could just kind of put these on and go to work and it's nothing crazy. It's nothing over the top, which I understand. But also I think I want a bit more. The next thing is a Japanese denim dress. That's something that I think Rihanna really has been thinking about too, is a lot about like fabrics that she really, really likes. And she wears a lot of denim. She's worn a lot of denim by Tom Ford. It's an iconic look. And a lot of people were saying that a lot of her work for Fenty has been derivative of things that she's worn, which I understand. And I think that if she's really just creating clothes, which I think fashion is getting more into, less so, taking on a whole collection, but more so taking on clothing that will actually sell. Testing product, testing one-off pieces, and seeing how it will do. This makes sense in this whole attitude. I actually like this dress. I think it's very simple. I like that up top. It is kind of baggy. I think women that I know personally always have issues with breasts. Sometimes your breasts are really, really fucking big and it's really hard to like get something to fit on your boobs, it might look weird, it might look too small, it might look too big. 
But I like the fact that once you hit the waist and it falls down, it actually is fitted so that it fits nicely around the butt. It's not gonna be like a big baggy butt because nobody wants a big baggy butt. I actually think that the design for these is actually quite smart and I do, do like this little denim moment. Again, the shoes in a nice little teal blue and then the sunglasses as well. You know, very simple look, but I think this is a good commercial moment. Next up, we have another shirt dress. This looks like a t-shirt dress. And I do actually really like the, the piping that goes down and sort of creates these curves. I think it gives the dresses a bit of dimension in that it allows for the body to be seen in a different way. It sort of creates a shape without the shirt actually having to do all of the work and the cut and the silhouette. It allows for like details to actually accentuate the body, which is really, really nice. Again, you have a white baseball cap. I really do wonder what they're made out of. Maybe if I had been invited to the press preview, I could have known, Rihanna, what's up with that? Why didn't I get the call? Why didn't you hit me up? What's going on? Rude. Um, yellow sunglasses, I actually do really, really like them. And I actually like that the frames cut here, but the actual lens keeps going up. I think that's really, really smart. Again, I actually really, really like this shirt dress. I'm about it. Great. And again, simple white shoes. That seems to be a Rihanna classic. Next up is a pant t-shirt combo. I don't know if this is the same t-shirt as the t-shirt dress that we just saw. I would assume not because I'm sure that when the t-shirt dress hits the pants, it won't feel all kind of nice. The t-shirt still has that sort of piping that accentuates the body. These pants, they're very pleated. Again, that is that whole pant pleat moment that Rihanna is going for. I do definitely think that it has an interesting attitude and aura about it. I think it definitely makes the pants look fuller. It's really up to you whether or not that's how you actually want to look, but to each their own. And again, a simple shoe, a big sunglass. These are the ones I think that we probably saw when Rihanna first came out a few months ago with the Fenty sunglasses and started all the rumors. So again, an interesting look, very, very, very commercial. Next up we have, it looks like the denim dress from before paired with a pair of jeans. Denim on denim. It's an interesting look. I don't think it's that much different than what we saw previously. And I'd like to see more of the jeans. I wonder how they fit. They look very straight legged and they really look like they fall to the very bottom of the shoe. So I assume that they're long. You might have to get them hemmed. But from what I read, She's using Japanese denim, which is a beautiful denim. It is very fucking expensive. And I mean, it's beautiful quality. Shout out to Japan for making great denim. Um, yeah, again, it's a very simple look, but it's also really, really up to you on what you want and what you need. Okay, here's a t-shirt again. And now we're seeing the pants for the full, full shebang. They're simple. They're very, very simple. I'd like to know the price point on them to see like really how they work and how they fit. I assume that they're probably fitted and more oriented to a woman that's probably bigger, which is actually really nice. I'm sure that there probably are not a lot of denim brands that really cater to women that are bigger than a tiny size, you know? Again, simple t-shirt. Next up is a simple white dress. It looks like it's made out of denim, but it could be like a canvas. It could be a lot of things, a cotton. Again, it's very Rihanna. I feel like when I think of Rihanna, this is kind of what I think of recently, like this kind of look. It's a short white dress, has a heel, very simple, big earrings, okay. Next up, we have this very like South of France sort of aesthetic. I feel like this little square cut, uh, top is very, very interesting. I like the little ridges for the boobs. I think it's cute. And I like these big puff sleeves. I think they're really, really cool. I'm very about them. Wouldn't mind be getting gifted this shirt. Um, just kidding. Not really, but kind of. Um, but I actually love these pants. So before with the pink and the khaki, you weren't really selling me on these big pleated pants, but I think in this Japanese denim, it's beautiful. I think they're really, 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 really beautiful. You can see a lot more of the details because it's such a dark denim that the stitching in the white kind of really pops a lot more. So it seems to have a lot more detail, which I like. Like even the little 
hem on the bottom has these just two little rows of white stripes. And honestly, I love it. I think it really adds. And I think that the denim with the pleat is much better in this darker color as well. It just looks nicer, it looks fuller, it looks cleaner. This look I am about, I assume Rihanna is like channeling her French LVMH attitude, which I think really can definitely work. Next up is a suit. Uh, this is one of the ones that we saw in the T Magazine shoot with Rihanna. It's in a white now. It's a very simple sort of 80s, big shouldered business suit. It is cinched by a little fanny pack in the middle, which I assume will probably also be sold. And I feel like it adds a sort of utilitarian aspect to an 80s sort of corporate suit, which again is something that I think a lot of people are really drawn to nowadays. The pants obviously have the pleats from before. I actually like them on this silhouette. I think it works quite well. And I like the blazer. I think it's actually really, really nice. Uh, it looks like it's double breasted. Really cool, I'm about it. Then there is this pink blazer dress. I actually do, again, really, really like this. I think it's quite nice. It looks like it's a take on the first white one that we saw earlier. I think because it's in pink, that little piping that goes down the front is actually much more seeable and I think it works really well as well. Um, again, it's very simple, but I do really, really like it. And I like the fact that Rion is not just making silhouettes do all the work. I really do like the ideas of these little details coming through it's very luxury, it's very high-end, it's very LVMH, it's smart. Next up we have, it looks like a blazer with a little skirt underneath it. And again, we have the fanny pack that cinches the waist. It's in a khaki, very casual. I'm interested to see what the skirt underneath looks like. I, I don't know, I haven't seen it before. It looks like it's a little, maybe like a sneak peek of the next collection. Um, again, very simple, but I also can see this as being very, very wearable. I see. I definitely think that there is a customer for this kind of stuff. Again, we have a pink suit, fanny pack cinch, pleated pants, very nice, I do like it. Okay, this is, this is the fashion look that I was looking for. So this looks like it is a man's dress shirt that has essentially, it's kind of like double layered. So underneath, I'm sure that there is a little fitted shirt that kind of is probably cropped here. And then essentially there's like a thicker men's suit that has been like bonded over it on top above the breasts. And then the rest of the dress kind of falls underneath. So it's kind of like you took three quarters of a fitted dress shirt and then you essentially took the other one fourth from a different dress shirt and kind of bonded them together so that it is two different pieces and panels, but they look like they've kind of morphed into one. I think it fits really, really nicely. I think that women will easily wear this dress. I like the little vents in the front of the dress at the bottom, those little things I would call those a vent, which essentially allows for the body to move in it so it's not restricted. I think that's really, really smart. I think the sleeves being very, very big is also very interesting. To me, this is a bit Y Project, and I will say that Rihanna does and has worn Y Project in the past. And I feel like this is something where like a dress shirt looks like it's molting, it's cocoon off of it. That is very Y project to me. And I think Rihanna has to be very, 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 very careful not to be ripping off brands that she has worn in the past because that will come to bite her in the ass if Dia Prada feels like going after her. So I would be very, very careful. It's a really nice dress. I really like it, but she needs to be very, very fucking careful. Finally, Rihanna is just doing a simple white shirt. It has the piping in it, very simple. And then there's this cute little denim skirt, has a lot of contrast stitching in it, which I love. I'm a slut for contrast stitching, it's just the truth. I like the vents on the side. I like that it kind of pops out. It's not just a full skirt all around. It sort of has some dimension. It has some silhouette and cut that kind of changes. I think it's smart. Again, really like it. Can't wait to see the men's, I'm about it. So that's the video. That's me going through all of the Fenty looks. Those are my opinions. I don't know prices yet. I just didn't feel like waiting till the 29th of May to find out prices for you guys. Obviously go on the website when it comes out, but I really wanna know your thoughts. Honestly, 
I was expecting more, but I think for a first collection, in terms of commerciality, this new way that people are going about this sort of direct to customer model, and not just doing a fashion show that has this full sort of all different eras and types and situations going on. I think this was good. I think this was nice. I hope in the future we get some of those old Fenty X Puma collection sort of aspects, which I really, really miss. That was probably one of my favorite shows on the New York Fashion Week schedule always. So I really do hope that Rihanna sort of turns out this whole idea and this whole concept. I think it'll be fun. I know this collection was called Weapon and it sort of relates back to a lot of the different fabrics and textiles that were being utilized throughout the collection. So yeah, I wanna know your guys' opinion. Some of you guys are probably gonna be let down and I understand that, but I also am hoping and crossing my fingers that the drops and all the different aspects and attitudes that will come with the brand are going to pick up and you know, sort of deliver more of like a fashion aspect to the collections. So yeah, please let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear all your opinions. I will see you guys on the next video. So TTYL.